Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to another Saturday Psalm Things with Mats. Hi, I'm Mats, and it's so close to Easter that these wines are going to be beautiful come Easter morning, Easter afternoon. And today, we are still talking about women and wine. It's the month of March. Female wine owners and female wine makers, entrepreneurs, it's all encompassing because they're so dynamic. And today I have one of those people with me. Her name is Jane. I knew I was going to do this. <laughs> Edit. Oops. Dunkley. Dunkley. I'm thinking Dunkel. No, that's German. That's beer. Dunkley. Bless her heart. Bless my heart. She's from Australia and she has had harvests on three different continents worked with many countries, and truth be told, I am standing today with wine royalty <laughs> because she's the winemaker for Bezel, which is part of the cake bread team. So this is going to be her show. Jane Dunkley, welcome to the table. Thank you. Thanks for having me, and thanks, everyone, for joining me for a tasting. Uh, I'm the winemaker for Bezel, which is from the Cake Bread family. Uh, a little bit about, about the, the brand. Uh, so the Cake Bread family just celebrated 50 years yes. in winemaking. Uh, and so when that 50 years was coming up, they were really pondering what they were going to do for the next 50 years. And so they really wanted to take the varieties that, that they were really good at and explore different regions on the west coast of the US. And so Bezel was kind of born. Uh, and so the concept was really to see where we could do cool climate varieties, Chardonnay and Pinot, uh, and also some varieties that kind of enjoy sunshine a little bit more, sure. like Cab and Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. And the central coast is the perfect place right, for right. that. I love so, the nose on this. Yeah, so we'll start off in yes. Paso Robles. And I live in mm. Paso Robles, so I'm always happy to fly the flag. Mm. So the Sauvignon Blanc, I like to think of this as just California wow. sunshine yes. in a glass. Yes, it, it really is, because I'm getting bright kiwi and citrus and mango and guava, a lot of tropical. A lot of tropical. Notes. We try to pick it um, in a few different goes so that we get some acidity. Right. And I think you see that in this city. Oh, There's yeah. a lot of freshness. It's not cloying like... New Zealand can be. Definitely. Your morning glass of grapefruit juice. This isn't it. It's There's beautiful. a little bit of grapefruit, but sure, I think sure. also we really like it to finish really nice yes. and clean it's and balanced. fresh. Balanced. Um, lower on the on the alcohol as well, because mm. I always like to say, you know, we need to drink more than one glass. I think so. And so <laughs> that, that kind of helps. Mm. And truth be told to all of our viewers out there, this is the first time I'm trying these beautiful bezel wines and they're not available in any grocery store in Colorado. So you almost have to come to Argonaut and get the best price for these beautiful wines. On to number two. On to number two. So this is the Chardonnay. And so this is from Edna Valley. And Chardonnay and cake bread really kind mm. of go hand in hand. And so this was one wine that we really wanted to take the expertise of cake bread and what people love about cake bread Chardonnay, but explore uh, a different place with that. Sure. So we're in Edna Valley. It's one of the coldest places in California to grow grapes. Wow. And we're wow. really playing to that. So picking early, I think it's really expressing some nice it lemon is. pith notes. We want it to be white peach. And once again, I think- A little mandarin, a little satsuma, a little- There's a lot of citrus, yes, right? Japanese pear. Yeah. This is beautiful. And what I like about the Bezel wines in association with cake bread, they don't have those cake bread prices, but you're still <laughs> getting true. a great, great product thanks to Jane. Oh, well, thank you. And I've I been, love this. I've sort of been joking as well. It's like, if you normally drink cake bread, you can drink these on a Tuesday when no one else is around. Okay. And then when you've got to impress people sure. on the weekends, that's when you pull out the cake bread wines. Uh, beautiful. I mean, it's a nice mouthfeel. It's big, full-bodied, lush. It has beautiful, beautiful aromas. This is the 2022. This is 2022, and we've done a lot of work as well on the barrels. It's got some nice complexity through the mid palate, but the oak is really there just to support yeah, it, the fruit. It's, right, it's lifted. I'm getting some buttercreams and some uh, 
coffee. Little oh, hazelnut. Yeah, I like the hazelnut. Yeah, definitely. It's beautiful. And it's quite a savory wine yes. as well, with that mouth watering acidity. And what would you pair this with? Oh gosh, for me, I think that this is one of the more really, really versatile wines. I like to do the kind of high low kind of pairing. Okay. So I think of this, I'm like, give me some tater tots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tater tots. On the lower and end. Tater, eh? Well, <laughs> honestly, but obviously your classic, you know, creamy pasta. I think, you know, barbecued roasted chicken. Sure. A chicken Caesar salad. Oh, that perfect. Would be, yes. And I think Gorgeous. especially as we're coming into coming into the springtime, mm -hmm. all of those nice fresh oh, things. I am so impressed. Beautiful female winemaker. The same with uh, cake bread. Definitely. N Nikki Williams is. Nikki Williams yes, and also the Mullen Road winemaker yes. Sally. She's amazing as well. So we've got a we've got a great all female team. Yes, and it's still March, so we're celebrating you. Rightfully so. We'll take it. <laughs> On to the Pinot. All right, Pinot. We're, we're still down in Edna, and I think this is a really beautiful, floral, feminine expression of Pinot Noir. Mm. Um, I always say you should be able to read the menu through wow. Pinot Noir. I want transparency visually, but also aromatically. Mm -hmm. Blackberry, black cherry, a little cassis, some mm -hmm. black walnut. And I like it because it is a little lighter, but it's still unctuous. It's full-bodied. Mm -hmm. It's a nice mouthful. Yeah, and I think it's unashamedly Pinot Noir. Yes. As well. And I think it really does, um, really shows what, what the Edna Valley is capable right. of. It's a great representation of you and other winemakers that I've had at the table because I'm tasting your passion. <laughs> I'm tasting your, your love for your craft and it really, really shows. Yeah, and I think with all of these wines, there is that throughput of vibrancy. Yes. Um, and perhaps, perhaps that's, you know, that's reflected in me a little yes, bit. Yes, <laughs> absolutely, because you should be proud. You should just dance on the table because so far, three out of four, you're amazing. Okay. Number four. Well, thank you. And um, now we're back in Paso Robles um, and we're in, we're in the world of Cabernet Sauvignon. I feel really strongly about Cabernet. I've been making Cabernet for a long time now. Uh, and I think this is a really classic expression of Cabernet. It's got dark fruit. It's mm. got some yeah. herbaceousness, which I think really speaks to the variety. Sure. A little sage, a little tarragon. Yeah, and I think about bay leaf as well. Okay. A little bit of a dried herbal note. I get that on the finish. Mm-hmm, definitely. Yeah, I mean, you're getting your black fruit up front, blackberry, black raspberry, black cherry, but then it style back and you're savoring it and thinking about it. Yeah, and I think that structure is really pulled along. The oak is there on the finish, yes. a little bit of toast in us, sure. but not overpowering the, the fruit pro profile of right. this one. Right, it's gorgeous, full-bodied, lush, and what would you pair with this? Okay, well, I'm a ribeye girl. Okay. So I always like kind of a, a fattier cut of, of steak, um, and especially on the central coast, we sure. have uh, Santa Maria barbecue. Oh. So I always think that's my classic combination mm -hmm. as well with a tri-tip, some nice uh, Paso Robles Cabernet. And yes. That's I'm, heaven for me. <laughs> I'm making world famous ribs as we speak. They're in the oven and these are going to pair beautifully with them. And you know what else I would pair probably with the Cabernet? Wait for it. Sticky date pudding. Oh my gosh. Now you're talking my language. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So good. That would pair Gorgeous. Yeah, and I yes. think with the with the dried fruit and the sweet the chocolate knives. and the caramel and mm. the mm, okay, you're, you're absolutely yeah, right. Well, but invite me over because I never met a rib I didn't like. Okay, <laughs> you got it. And Jane, it's been such an honor, such a pleasure to have you at the table because these wines really just represent your your passion and your your calling, well, and it's reflective so. in the glass. And Argonaut is lucky to have you and to have these wines. So everybody. Happy Easter. Come on down to Argonaut. And Jane, once again, cheers. And cheers. thanks for such a great lineup. Thank you.